and welcome back to the start of a new weekly reading vlog. It is Monday, the start of the week. I just finished like the last clip of my previous reading vlog, which was very messy and all over the place and spanned across a couple weeks because I was a little bit off my reading game. But I'm feeling good about this week and about this vlog. So I'm excited. I have had a good day so far. It's only I think one in the afternoon and I've already recorded a podcast episode for season three of the podcast I co-host with my best friend called That's My Jam. Link in description if you want to check it out. We're pre-recording for season three right now. So that was super fun and I'm just kind of having a girl boss day, you know. I'm gonna play some D&D &D with friends tonight. Have leftover pizza for lunch. Ooh, I just remembered that. Today's a good day. What am I reading, you may ask? Well, I just finished, like, two hours ago, listening to the audiobook for You Have a Match by Emma Lord, and I'm not gonna say a word about it because that'll be in my August wrap-up, but it is time to start a new audiobook, and I have been really loving listening to contemporary romance on audiobook. It's one of my favorite genres to listen to, so... Of course, I get all of my romance recommendations from Avery Loves Books. I will link her channel below. She's one of my friends and I love her and she is like the booktube romance queen. So I trust her recommendations and I've never read a sports romance. So we are going to listen to Only When It's Us. I have never heard of this before and I already opened it through the Libby app so I cannot easily access the summary anymore <laughs> so can't really tell you what it's about but I was interested in the plot when Avery was talking about it so that's what I will be listening to next and then also digitally I like to read ebooks before bed so I usually have like a physical book that I'll read during the day and then I'll be reading a second book simultaneously uh, on my iPad at night and I get those through the Libby app as well. So last night I started reading Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty and I am only 5% of the way through <laughs> so I think I got two chapters in and I'm already really really liking it. I am interested to see what I think because it has very mixed reviews on Goodreads by a lot of my Goodreads friends whose like opinions I'm interested in and none of them really liked it so I'm excited to see what I think so far I do really really like it I think it's starting off strong but I wanted to read this because at the time of filming this two days from now the mini series Nine Perfect Strangers comes out on Hulu with Nicole Kidman and I am obsessed with Nicole Kidman so I'm excited to watch it and I was like you know what I'll see if I can read it before I watch it don't think that's gonna happen because it's a fairly long book and I only have two days before the show but I will at least get you know I'll get through it and the sh I believe it's coming out like one episode a week not all at once so I'm sure I'll finish it this week so I will have finished the book way ahead of when the series finishes if that makes sense but this book is about from what I can tell it's nine perfect strangers who go to like this wellness retreat that's run by this really weird lady and I believe it's a thriller so some weird stuff goes down the lady is kind of creepy yeah <laughs> I'll let you know a little bit more like once I get further into it but already like that sounds super interesting to me so I'm excited to see where it goes I love like things where like you're in a weird place you've never been before and people aren't who you kind of think they are or they have weird ulterior motives so we will see and then physical book wise my priority for this week is king of scars by lee bardugo because my friend and i want to record a grishaverse podcast episode and i need to read this duology so that we can talk about shadow and bone trilogy the six of crows duology and then this duology so i have this from the library I am on page 53, so I still have quite a ways to go, but I'm really loving it so far. I love Nikolai. He was my favorite character from Shadow and Bone, 
and he's not really in that trilogy barely at all but I loved him so much I love how snarky he is and so the fact that we have a book with him is amazing and I also had known and then forgot that Nina from Six of Crows also is like the other main perspective in this book and I love her as well so I think this book was just made for me I'm really hoping I don't overhype myself but I'm really excited so that's this is my main priority definitely to finish this this week but those are my reading plans for this week very excited excited to have like a contemporary romance an adult thriller and then like a YA fantasy so it's a good collection I hope you are having a good week and I'll talk to you later. Hello, it is later in the day. I just woke up from a nap. It was kind of an unsuccessful nap, but it was one of those instances where, like I set my timer for an hour and I probably slept like 20 minutes, but it just felt really good to like lay there and just like be a slug, you know? I originally, knew that three shirts that I ordered from Depop were coming in the mail today, but then also two books that I ordered from Depop also came in the mail today. So I was like, why not do a little unboxing? The shirts are all horror movie related because I'm a big fan of spooky things and horror movies but I don't really have any merch for them and I really love like oversized t-shirts. Depop is a great place to find things like that because I'd rather buy, you know, resold clothing than clothing, than brand new clothing when it comes to like t-shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, let's start with shirts first. This one's interesting because they addressed it by putting queen in front of my name. So I'm a queen. Okay, so this first one is this It shirt. I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna wash it first. Hello. I'm definitely gonna wash it first because it smells like nicotine, but I just love that. You'll float too. I was looking through, there's like so many It shirts. And I was looking for one specifically from the newer films. So there was a lot to choose from, which was great. And I'd rather buy, you know, something like that from like a fast fashion company um, secondhand. So I am very excited about this. And it's long sleeve, which is nice. I'm so excited. I love like a big tee with leggings is like my go-to outfit always. Today I'm daring to be very different because I actually put on jeans for the first time in like a month but okay next one. Oh yep so this is another long sleeve black tee that says what did they see on it and it is for Woman in Black which is one of my favorite horror movies. Um, I, I think it's just everything I love in one movie like it has like the spooky, gothic, subtle, haunted house kind of vibes. And those are like some of my favorite vibes. So very excited about this. So this one isn't exactly horror related, but it is related to something that I love that's, I guess, kind of spooky. So I might as well include it in this haul. But this is a Walking Dead shirt. I absolutely love The Walking Dead. I will admit that it has gone downhill in general. I am actually a huge fan of, I don't know if it was last, the season before last was actually surprisingly really, really good. Um, I wish they had brought in the villain that they did earlier in the series because I think it was really solid. But anyways, <laughs> um, Walking Dead. I'm a basic, basic bish and I love Rick Grimes, but my favorite character ever is Negan and his immaculate character arc and I was just so happy. I'm assuming this shirt was probably made when Negan was the villain obviously in whatever season that was um because he has Lucille here but I'm stoked to find a shirt that like features him 
um, prominently. So I am so excited about this. I was so late to the Walking Dead fandom, if there even still is one besides me, that I missed out on like merch and stuff for it at the time. But now I'm glad because I'd rather get all that kind of stuff secondhand. All right, then we have the books. Can I open this? Thank you. Now these books, I'm hoping are what I thought they were. I was surprised to find them so cheap that it made me a little bit worried that they weren't the editions that I thought that they were. Oh my God, they are. I'm rereading the Court of Thorns and Roses series. And by rereading, I mean, I'm halfway through the first one. And that's the only one that I've read. So I'm only rereading that one and then I'm reading the others. Because one of my friends talked about it before, but she wasn't a reader and she recently got back into reading and she's been reading that series and really, really loving it. And so I was like, this is my excuse to jump back into it and be able to talk about the series with her. So I got the first and second book on paperback in the with the original covers with Feyre on them, like 2018. And I didn't really fully process when the covers got redesigned and I really, really don't like the redesigned covers. And I had started A Court of Thorns and Roses and I got three, four, and five from the library. But while reading the first one again, I was like, I really want to annotate this, but I can't annotate the later ones because they're library copies. So I went on a hunt to find the original covers of them, which are so hard to find because I think TikTok, like book talk, has hyped these books up so much that people are selling like the original covers for like $90. And I'm like, two years ago, you know, they were like eight bucks. And they're so much prettier in my opinion than the redesigned ones. So long story short, I managed to get hardcover copies of the original covers of these two books. And I'm so excited. I do kind of wish that I had gotten the first two in hardcover. I think depending on how much I love them, I might keep a lookout for the hardcover editions just so all four of these can match and then I'll just get the new one in hardcover with its subpar cover, which is fine. But I'm honestly so shocked. I was like, I got these for like eight and six, like eight dollars and six dollars, but on other places like eBay and just like other Depop sellers, I've literally seen these for like, like I said, like 75, 80 dollars. So I was like, mm, I might be getting scammed here. Why are they so cheap? But anyway, I was not getting scammed. These are in great shape and I'm super stoked. So that's my little haul. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I'll check in with you tomorrow. been an entire week since I last updated. Um, I had two like big exams, like state exams for my teaching credential program and studying for that plus work just took up all of my time. Um, so we're kind of just redoing this vlog in a sense because it's Monday and I'm hoping to finish King of Scars within the next couple of days because I really didn't read a single thing in this last week. So, yes, I, I also 
reread what I had already read because I had read it in such like 20 pages here and then two days later 20 pages here and fantasy is already like difficult for my brain to comprehend sometimes so I was like I need to speed this up like I need to read it in larger chunks on consecutive days for me to like understand what's going on so I did skim read the previous 130 pages so I'm back up to where I was last Monday <laughs> So we're going to move forward from here before I have to reread the previous 130 pages again. Right now I'm really enjoying it. Nikolai is my book boyfriend. I love him. Like I said, I'm on one, page 130, which is about 25% of the way through. So I'm hoping maybe by the end of today to get to part two of this book since it is split into two parts. So we will see. I do have a class that starts tonight. Today's the first day of the semester. That's also why I'm talking a little bit quietly and why I'm in this room instead of like our actual reading office room because my husband is in class right now on Zoom. So yeah, but that's the plan. So we're just kind of going to restart this vlog without actually restarting the vlog, if you know what I mean. This is really my big plan for this week. And then I think I'm also gonna read a couple of the graphic novels that I have checked out. I also finally did get the third Tea Dragon Society book. So I'm planning on reading all three in that series this week too, but I'm gonna read for a bit and then exercise and shower before my class tonight. So talk to you later. It is unexpectedly like four days later, five days later. Um, I have just been reading King of Scars so slowly. And I think it's just because it's fantasy. It's not that I'm not enjoying it, but I've just gotten to this point where it's like I read to relax and to kind of turn my brain off. And fantasy just takes more like mental energy and brain power to process so it's like if I'm tired at night I don't feel like reading this because I know I'll be like rereading like a paragraph I just read to make sure that I understand what's going on so it's been slow going but I did read about 100 pages yesterday, so I'm now a little over halfway through. I'm on part two, and some interesting things are happening. It's, it's not that I, I'm not enjoying it, because I am. It's just, I think, the fact that it's fantasy really... Fantasy is not my preferred genre. <laughs> That's where we're at. Still enjoying it. There's some interesting things just happened at the end of part one. So I'm very curious to see like how that's gonna go and if, I don't know, like is the bad guy the bad guy that I think it is or not. Also, I, I want Nikolai and Zoya to be together. They're so cute. I just want them to be together. And I don't know if that happens or not, but I'm shipping it so hard. They're definitely like my favorite. Well, they're not even a couple yet. And I don't know if they end up being a couple, but they're my favorite like couple in like this, the entire Grishaverse. They just make me so happy. So that's where I'm at with that. And then this morning I was doing some cleaning and so I started listening to Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi and I'm now 25% of the way through and I'm really loving it. Exactly the type of contemporary that I love and I love that the characters are in their 20s um, for the most part, like college age at least. And it's just really good so far. It's just interesting because we are, 
I am a fourth of the way through and the two characters whose perspectives the book is from haven't really like met each other properly so I'm interested to see like what's gonna happen to make them get close because presumably they're the ones on the cover so anyway that's the story but yeah I have like 250 pages of this left so I'm gonna try to read 100 pages today and hopefully finish this soon because I am the only one standing in my way I, my weird relationship with fantasy is the only thing standing in the way of me finishing this because I do enjoy it, so I just gotta do it, you know? I just, I just gotta do it. So, anyway, I will update you when I have read some more. Another day, another package opening. Um, this package is very special because I have talked in previous vlogs about how I was reading the King of Scars duology because my friend and I are going to record a Grishaverse podcast episode for our podcast for season three, and that's the only Grisha, like, book in the Grishaverse I hadn't read yet was that duology. So anyway, I was like, I'm gonna film our episode where we talk about the Grishaverse because it's so book-related, and I'd like to put it on my channel. So I was like, since we're going to be on video... It'd be cool to have some shirts and my friend Addie designed our podcast's logo um so we have like the rights over it and so we put it on the shirt and the shirt came in the mail today and I am very excited that is so cool to see something that she designed on a shirt that's our podcast love that hello emma from the future here editing emma actually because i just edited the vlog up to this point and realized i never finished it <laughs> yeah once again another vlog much like my last vlog that is just truly all over the place a lot of what i read and started in this vlog i did finish in the vlog that's gonna go up after this one so there will be closure i promise but yeah i hope you enjoyed this chaotic mess if you made it till the end put a put the skull emoji in the comments i love that emoji that's like my most used emoji so yeah i guess that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a great day or night and i will see you in my next vlog Bye. Bye.